So which of the following is incorrect about the fractionating petroleum? The heavier so one, the heavier components condense faster. That is, inc that is true. Heavier components are obviously bigger, so they will go f not as far up the column. So of course they will condense faster. Okay. The components with higher boiling points condense at trays at lower levels. So components with higher boiling points, so remembering that they take more energy to turn into gas, will condense much closer to the heat source. So they will condense at lower levels. So this is again, this is true about petroleum. So it's not the correct answer for this question. Light components do not condense and are collected at the, bot at the top. Again, that's true. They don't condense, they get heated up and then get pushed out the top of the fractionating column. So again, this is not the correct answer for this um, question. So the last answer D is correct. And each fraction contains a pure compound. That's not true, remember. Each fraction will have a mixture of different chemicals because we, can't, we don't have the technology to just split into single chemicals. And also the yield for those might be very small. So we just, have a, we just deal with a mixture of chemicals um, that all have similar boiling points. Okay. So question two, which of the following is incorrect about the fractions from oil and refine, uh, oil refinery and their uses? So A, natural gas is used mainly as a fuel and as raw materials in the petrochemical industry. That's true, so this is wrong, uh, wrong for the question. So it's widely used for power generation as well as raw materials for petrochemicals. Okay. Kerosene is mainly used as aviation fuel and cracked into smaller hydrocarbons. Again, that's true, so it's not correct for this question. So kerosene is an aviation fuel. It's used in gas turbines. And you can also break it down into smaller compounds if you don't have as much demand for aviation fuel. D, diesel is used as fuel for diesel cars and industrial boilers. Again, that's true. So that means that it's wrong for this question. So lastly, we have C, which is the correct answer. Gasoline is mainly used as car fuel and the heaviest component. Of course, it's not the heaviest component. Otherwise, we'd have a hard time um, getting it to gasify in an engine and then burn. So of course, this isn't true because it's not the heaviest component. But it is used as a car fuel. Okay. Question three, explain how fractional distillation enables crude oil to be separated into fractions with distinctive uses. Okay. So again, we're always talking about verbs. And in this one, we're talking about explain, so the cause and effect. And so crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons, each with different properties. And most importantly, the, it's the boiling point. Okay, That's important. By heating the crude oil, the lighter or lower carbon content components condense up the column, while heavier high, or higher carbon content components condense at lower points in the column, Okay, simply because they're allowed to move further because there's a temperature difference as you go up the column. So close to the heat source will be very hot, very far away from the heat source will be very cold, and in the middle will be somewhere in between those two extremes, right? So in this way, by allowing them to condense at different points, we can separate the different fractions based on their boiling point.